Persephone was the daughter of Demeter, the goddess of Earth's fertility and harvest, and Zeus, the king of all the Olympians. Demeter cared as deeply for her daughter as she did for the Earth. Persephone was very beautiful, and she lived a happy life, playing with the other children and spending time in the gardens of Olympus. One day, as Persephone was playing in the garden, the earth suddenly opened up. Hades, the god of the underworld, emerged from the darkness. Some time ago, Hades had seen her sitting in the garden, and he was struck by her beauty ever since. He desperately wanted her to be his queen of the underworld. So, one day, he approached Zeus, asking for permission to take Persephone as his queen. With little concern for how Demeter would respond to such a request, Zeus agreed and Hades was given consent. Hades took hold of poor Persephone and carried her gently to the underworld. Persephone shouted for help, but to no avail. Demeter was struck with grief, and she scoured the earth in search of her daughter. Her immense sorrow caused the earth to grow dark, cold, and barren. The once lush meadows yellowed, the trees curled and furled, the rain stopped. Demeter finally contacted Zeus. He informed her of Persephone's marriage to Hades in the underworld. Demeter grew into a motherly rage. She demanded Zeus to return Persephone to her care, but Zeus refused. Demeter sought to punish Zeus for betraying her and their daughter. She left Olympus, leaving the earth cold and barren. Zeus had no other choice but to agree to Demeter's demands. He told Hermes, the messenger to bring Persephone back up to Demeter's care. In the underworld, Persephone had grown to love Hades, who treated her with compassion and loved her as his queen. Hermes reached the underworld. He requested that Persephone come back to Earth with him. Hades knew he could not refuse the commands of Zeus, but he also could not part from his beloved Persephone. One morning, Persephone went into the underworld's garden and was offered a pomegranate by the gardener. Up until that point, Persephone had resisted eating anything offered to her. She knew that if she ate any food from the underworld, she would be bound to it forever. But that morning, Persephone was so hungry, she took the pomegranate and ate six of its seeds. Then, abruptly, Hermes, the messenger of the gods, appeared before her. He told her that Demeter had caused the earth to freeze, that no crops would grow, and mortals were dying. The only thing that would stop her was Persephone's return. Persephone reluctantly allowed Hermes to take her to Olympus. Demeter was so happy to see her daughter. Zeus, too, was happy to see the flowers on Earth blooming again. Suddenly, the throne room darkened, and the gods turned as Hades stepped out of the shadows. He was holding the partially eaten pomegranate in his hand. Persephone has eaten the fruit of the underworld, Hades said coolly. She must return and rule it with me. While Demeter resumed her tantrum, Zeus considered Persephone quietly. How many seeds did you eat, daughter? He asked. 
Persephone told him, Six. Zeus stood up from his throne, and the assembly quieted. I rule that she will spend six months of each year in the underworld with her husband, and six months with her mother. During Persephone's six months on earth, the land was fertile, beautiful, and warm. The meadows were lush and of the deepest green. The rains came often, and drought was unseen. However, when Persephone left the land and entered Hades' domain, the earth was dark with no growth. Demeter grieved for her daughter and had little time to nurture the land. Thus, according to Greek mythology, the seasons were created. The autumn and winter months were when Persephone sat on the throne of the underworld beside Hades and the spring and summer months were when Persephone was reunited with her dear mother, Demeter.